embrace what God wants to say to you this morning. The parts of your life that you have discounted as, as the undesirable and the things that you need to change, he looks at and he sees complete and total beauty. things that you've looked and seen in the mirror or that you've seen in yourself, you've, the things that you've hated the most about yourself, he looks at you and he says, that is exactly how I made you. See, God makes no mistakes. He, he creates nothing by accident. And you may look at your life right now and you may say, God, how is this intentional? It's intentional because 2,000 years ago, as he looked at the cross of Calvary, as he walked the streets with people lined, as he was nailed to the cross, he looked at you. He looked at the things that you have called ugly. He's looked at the things that you have called failures. He looked at the things that you may say, how in the world can God love me through this? And he looked at you and he said, you are worth it. <laughs> and you may not believe it this morning. You may say, listen, kids, you're nuts. There's no way that God could love me from the things that I've done or the person I've become or the mistakes that I've made. I'm not trying to convince you. I'm not the one that went to the cross. He's the one that looked at you and said, you are worth it. He's the one that saw you from the beginning of all creation and said, you are exactly who I want to make in the exact way that I'm gonna make you. And so many times we discredit that because we think it's not good enough. thing that he asks is for you to be genuine with him, to be authentic with him, to be real with him. So as we sing this again, as I ask you to go, I want you to stand to your feet and close your eyes, put the dishes down, even stop on the trail, pull the car over to the side of the road, stand in your living room. you to just have a moment with Jesus that he can wrap his loving arms around you and in your heart remind you of the perfect creation that he made you to be.